Hi, Bo here from High Tech Investment and welcome back to the channel where we're once again going to talk about the Profit Retriever, the Profit Retriever EA that simply continues to deliver every single week. Now this is our weekly reviews where we are going back four weeks and always having a look at the best performing EAs, the best performing uh, currencies, metals, whatever it is we are trading on the 25 EAs we currently have set up with the profit retriever and obviously this week again as you can see more than 13,000 if we have traded all the signals we're going to talk about here today over the past four weeks now we're also going to have a look at the top five but the interesting part and the most uh, basically updated part here for the top 10 is we have four new signals coming into the top 10 which means that four is actually leaving doesn't mean that it has been a disaster week not at all, but if you remember in last week's video, I said that the competition in between the number 8 down to number 15 was extremely tight and everybody had almost the same profit in here. This week we actually see the results of that as the week uh, has been a bit more on the slow side. It has been trading a lot sideways, but it has been missing the volatility that we normally like and uh, that is exactly where we are cashing in big time on the profit retriever but we're going to have a look at all the numbers but first we're going to start off with the top five of the week now the first one here is the Aussie Japanese now this has been strong for a very long time and this is the original signal that cashed in $639 or so 6.4% of the week the second Aussie Japanese signal also here, even though they are not similar, you can see they came very close to the profits of the first one, $596 or 6.0%. The US 30 is back online here with $372 or 3.7%. And the other index, the FTSE 100, $371 or 3.7%. And then last but not least, Euro Japanese, $283 or 2.8%. Overall, if you would have traded those five, you would have made $2,260 or 4.5% for the past week. So definitely not a bad week at all, but obviously we have seen a lot better also. Now you can find a lot more details about the profit retriever, about what kind of profits that we have when we are trading this one. We have been trading this one now for more than 500 days. And if you go on our website where we have links below in the video here, you'll find a lot more details. We get questions about this every single time and every single week that we post these ones here where to find more details. The website is the best place. We have a lot of our YouTube videos here and you also see them below where the last four weeks of this particular series here is also available so that you can follow the progress, not just for week by week, but you can follow it all the way back about a month's time. On top of this, we have our postings. So we are posting both this weekly top five, as you saw, and also the top five for the month to have a good idea of how stable the profit retriever is, which currency pairs that you should actually start trading. And obviously you can go in and see our entire portfolio. You simply click the button you see on the screen here too. And we also give you a bit of help on how you can actually trade the profit retriever, what kind of funds you need. Uh, trading for forex middle and indexes it is all there just for you to have a look review and then decide what you want to do with that particular information so the top 10 accounts still look uh, similar the same setup as we always have uh, number one to ten we have the individual currency pairs we have the links uh, that you can basically uh, use for expert forex copy link service so if you're interested in that and then we have last week's results where the signal was last week if it has moved forwards or backwards and it's also indicated in color and then we have four weeks here starting with week 29 30 31 and the last week here 32 we have the total sum and also total percentage in here and as you would see on the top five results uh, the aussie japanese is definitely dominating at the moment so the uh, top 10 list it was number one last week and again this week link 129c it has been cashing in quite nicely week 31 was obviously the best one with 1488 dollars this week was definitely still okay with 595 total sum in the last four weeks hang on to your shorts here please ladies and gentlemen 2807 dollars or 28.08 percent definitely that is some serious cash in over the past four weeks. 
Now the second one, the Aussie Japanese here is linked 98C and that was number three last week. So it has moved up uh, one spot. You can see also why it had the good week in week 30 with $1,029 and this week 32, 638. Also this one here cashing in a massive 2,100 or 21.01 percent so definitely both of these results here is extremely good and extremely stable the last one that comes in in the top three is the euro new zealand link 56c that has always been a very good and stable results and continues to be that it was number two last week and uh, look at the individual weeks 600 468 435 147 Overall, in four weeks, it would have made you $1,654 or 16.55% if you would have copied that particular link. Number four is the US 30. And of course, we like the US 30. It's normally always there. It's link 53C. It was number six last week, so it has moved up again here. And as we normally tell you on the index, it has uh, the individual weeks where it basically goes down in a small drawdown or it makes uh, very little cash. And then it comes back the week after. And definitely looking at the results for week 29, $773, week 32, 57. Then it has a very weak uh, on for week uh, 31 of only $18. And then it cashes in again, 371. So overall, that one made over the last four weeks, $1,421 or 14.21%. So definitely always a good bet also to have that one in there. Number five is Great British Pounds, USD, Link 73C, also extremely old uh, link here. So it has been there since 2022. And that one was number eight last week. So also move forward and you can see again how it's cashing in, 281, 369, 275, 231. Overall, $1,158 or 11.58%. And that basically concludes the top five in here. And you can also uh, see that the top five, if you look at the uh, uh, lower bottom uh, corner here, that if you would have traded those top five results, you would have made $9,143 or 18.29%. And that is definitely a serious cash in just for a period of four weeks on five signals. Now going on to uh, number six, we have uh, Euro Japanese in here, also with another old link of 54C. It was in a drawdown, so in uh, week 29, but since then it has moved forward and that's also why you see it has come from the number 11 position all the way up to number six. And as I mentioned before, things are very tight in the midfield here, uh, great to see. And as number six, it still made $1,109 or 11.10%. Uh, also here, extremely high and competitive signal. Euro USD was number uh, seven this week. It's uh, link uh, 126C. So it is one of the newer ones we have. It's still about three months old, I believe. It was number 13 last week. And you can see how that has just jumped slightly ahead. Uh, now, even though it didn't cash in in week 29, it had some extremely stable results of more than 400, more than 300, and more than 200 for the past four weeks. Overall, it makes up $932 or 9.32%. So again, a signal very strong. Let's see if it's not going to stay here also for next week. Uh, there's definitely a big possibility for that. The FTSE 100 is number eight, and uh, that is link 101C. Uh, that is down from number seven last week. And also here we can see that week 29 and week 30 was on the low side with the drawdown. And since then it has once again come back, as I mentioned many times on the indexes with 327, uh, 370. So overall in four weeks time, also here it cashed in $798 or 7.99%. So definitely never exclude the indexes in here, even though it goes into a drawdown from time to time. Number nine is the New Zealand USD. That is link 37C, also an extremely old uh, link here. And uh, that was number 14 last week, and it has jumped forward and uh, ended up with $776 or 7.77%. So also very good and stable results. And you can see the things are narrowing down here for the number 10, the Aussie New Zealand, that was number 
12 last week. This is also one of our newer links, 130C. It cashes in 246 for week uh, 29. Week 30 was 220. Week 31, it was 212. And then week 32, it was a bit on the low side, $70 only. But still, it manages just to keep within the top 10 of $749 or 7.5%. So definitely not a bad results at all. If we have a look at the individual weeks of how they would have done, if you would have traded those signals, we can see week 29, $2,279 or 2.3%. So definitely a bit on the low side compared to what we would normally have had. And then we see week 30, which was a really good one of $4,279 or 4.3%. Week 31, again, a bit lower here. So with 3,863 or 3.86%. And then we can see that our week, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video here, it wasn't exactly what we were hoping for. We only made $3,051 or 3.05%. But overall, when you count all the different weeks here together uh, with the 10 signals over a period of the four weeks, we would have actually made, or you would have actually also made here, if you would have copied all these 10 signals, $13,509 or made 13.51%. And that is definitely approved in our book. So there you have it. It is all about stability. It is all about consistency. And definitely the profit retriever has everything that you need in one EA in order to cash in every single week. Again, we have to tell you that over the past many, many weeks here, we have done this particular series. The lowest we ever have actually had is $9,000. The highest we had was 19. And that was actually for the first week of that particular series going on. You can see the last four weeks that we have in here. So this week it was 13,000. Last week it was 14. In week 30, it was 13,000 again. And then week 29, it was 11,000. And week 28, it was 10. So you can see the stability within the Profit Retriever EA. You can see the stability of the signals that are actually provided. We are extremely happy with this because any trader in here would obviously love to make some good cash uh, every single week, but it's extremely difficult to get the consistency in here over time. And that's exactly what this particular video is here to try and help you sort out which ones could be an opportunity for you. Now, don't forget this video here is not trading advice. It's not investment advice. You and you alone are responsible for your own trading. We are simply trying to show you exactly how we do things, which uh, signals that we are trying to basically trade all the time because we have 25 EAs doesn't necessarily mean that we have live money on all of them. We only try and test the best ones, put the money on there and then basically develop our portfolio from there. And that is definitely also a very good option for you, but it's entirely up to you how you actually want to run your own trading and hopefully very, very successfully. So we hope, and again, that this particular series here has given you some good insights as to how the profit retriever works, how much you can actually get out of this particular one without having a single crash. And we have to mention that again, that this has been extremely many months here now with that we haven't had a single crash on the profit retriever EAs here. They have become very stable. And obviously we have also learned how to trade this one in a more safely manner while still cashing in a bit of profit here and there. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up, a like, and definitely also a comment if you have the same very positive trading results. If you have copied some of our trading signals, we would obviously like to hear from you and uh, think exactly uh, how lucky you have been with this, or even if you have uh, copied some other uh, signals that are not ours, definitely we will still like to hear about that too. So until next video, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.